Hey. Hey! You here to meet Alexis? No, actually, I came to see you. Oh. What's going on? You haven't spoken to Jason? Not recently. Why? Did something happen? Okay. Well, you know that he and Sunny are away on business, right? Yeah. I told Jason not to come home. That's a big decision. Yeah. I know it costs you a lot. Nothing means more to me than my kids. And I swear Carly's standing outside of the following red parking lot, not knowing what condition Danny would come back. I just, it's torture. I didn't want the last memory I had of my son to be his baseball cap. I want to watch my kids breathe. I want to watch them grow. I want them to make beautiful lives for themselves. And because of that, that means I can't be with Jason. I'm guessing you said all this to Jason. Oh, honestly, I've, I have no idea what I actually said. It all just sort of came tumbling out. The regret, the fear. All of it. And you know Jason. He just stood there and took it. Yeah. Part of me wanted him to fight for me so bad, Carly, and to say that he could come up with some miraculous loophole to where he could still work for Sunny and keep me and the kids safe, but we both know that that doesn't exist. And I can't keep pretending that it does. Wow. I knew you were scared. I had no idea you felt this way. I had no idea either. Or at least I hadn't consciously thought about it. I mean, I have had my moments, but we all have. It's just the last couple of days hit me so hard, Carly. And last night, Jason had to leave, and Danny, he was really disappointed. So I sat him down, and we finally had a conversation, and he actually talked to me about his feelings. And he told me that he was really upset when Jason would leave, and he didn't know when he was coming back. And he told me that he hates having guards. And the thing that really broke my heart is he said that he couldn't have his friends over because the parents are afraid of Jason. Danny shouldn't have to deal with that. Scalp, obviously, shouldn't have to deal with that either. So that means our life with Jason is over. And it's not Jason's fault, because he is who he is and he's never pretended to be otherwise. Jason hasn't changed. You have.